will get some. What kind of eggs are we going to put in this incubator? Chicken eggs. We're going to put chicken eggs. And Daddy's going to show us how to put this incubator together to make the chicken eggs hatch. Okay, John, show us how to put the incubator together. Okay, this is a basic Janelle number 12 <laughs> egg incubator. This is the, the deluxe model that has the egg turner built into it. Simpler models of this does not, do not have this tray. And this tray is made with variable pieces in the middle so you can adjust for either small eggs or larger eggs. So this tray sits on, on a glide here in the middle and there's a pin that goes in here that runs the tray back and forth like this. And as JC is showing us, we have to have right at a half a cup of water added to the base of the unit before starting the yeah. egg incubation oh. group. You have to service the, the incubator and keep about a half a cup in the bottom of the unit at all times. And it's always better to have a little too much than not enough because the eggs can live when it's a little more humid, but the chicks will die inside the egg if you don't keep it humid enough inside the incubator. JC's not putting a whole half a cup each time, so. So, we will just simply start loading our eggs, and I've already adjusted the, the dividers for these size eggs. And we have larger eggs, and, and we have a few smaller eggs. So, I try to put the larger eggs in the middle, and the smaller eggs to one end. While John is loading the eggs into the incubator, uh, we were hoping to do a few more, but we don't have enough room in this small oak, incubator. Oh, oh, oak. And it does have a yolk. JC's going to show you on the camera. Go stand over there. Hold up the egg you have, JC. We've ordered this kit of plastic eggs. Oak. You can see them down there on the bottom shelf by JC's feet. A goat. It does have a yolk. Show them. Turn it around so they can see. And these eggs, can mommy see, please? show you what the chicken looks like in each day of its development. So this is day one, the day we're putting them in the incubator. There's just a yolk with a yolk sack around it. And these eggs were actually laid about a week ago. We had a different incubator that we were thinking we were going to use and then it malfunctioned and so we ordered this incubator off Amazon. We're going to use it instead. It's really good to put the eggs in the incubator from four to seven days after they're laid. And these, today is Friday, February 2nd. And these eggs were actually laid on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday of last week, the last week in January. So we are hoping that we're getting mostly eggs laid on Friday and Saturday. But chickens don't know days of the week. and. So they're not always exacting, so we're hoping also for a little bit of um, leeway from nature and from God who made these eggs. And John's just arranging them. He's changing the dividers, so you don't want the eggs to be able to move around too much. If they can, they could crack while being Did moved since it just rolls water. from side to side. So now... Um, Jay, we showed you day one that on day one the egg is just a yolk. Now John's going to finish explaining the incubator and then JC will show you what we're hoping for as an end result. This is the top of the incubator you know, that has the heater and the, and the rest of the electronics in it. it ha this is the egg turner here and this pin simply goes into that tray and as it rotates it moves the tray back and forth. So whenever we drop this onto the unit we have to make sure that the pin goes into the tray like so and we plug our unit in and we set our temperature and the temperature for chicken eggs is um, between 97 and 100 degrees really even one degree more can be problematic um, but if you stay between 97 and 100 degrees that's about perfect Typically, any information you get will say 100 degrees. And does this one have a humidity monitor, John? This one does not have a humidity monitor. There is a hole here in the top 
so that you can feed the cords you know, from a humidity monitor or, a, or an external thermometer into the unit, but it does not actually have a humidity monitor in it. Uh, I've hatched several, several batches of eggs without a humidity monitor, and the main thing is, as long as you keep that at least a half a cup of water in there, um, it will be humid enough, and like I said earlier, it is really hard to get it so humid that it would be a problem in there. Oh, Jason, yeah. So JC wants to put just a tiny bit more water in there. We're going to let her put a tiny bit, but really you don't want to keep putting water like we are. You want to wait two put or three water. days. Another thing that we're not doing that would be ideal is normally, oh, you don't want to actually pour it on the eggs either, so you might not want to let your two-year-old do this. Um, the other thing that we're not doing is usually you'd want to wait and let your um, let your incubator set for at least 24 to 48 hours after you initially get it in the mail and plug it in so that you can make sure it's not going to malfunction or have any problems with controlling the temperature. And so, um, but we're not doing that because these eggs were already laid a week ago. We want to get them incubating, and if they don't end up incubating, then it'll be too late for this particular set of eggs, and we'll need to get new eggs to try to hatch. JC wants to show you day 21 of the set of plastic eggs that we have there. She's showing you that on day 21, we're hoping these little baby chickens hatch out of there, and they'll be just about as crazy as JC is right now by the time that they are. 24 hours or one day old. So, we hope that you'll come back. We probably won't do a video every single day because we'll just be looking at eggs. But I'll do some read-alouds of chicken books and show you the eggs after each one. Hopefully we'll catch them with the turner on at some point. And we will, each time that we do a video, show you the inside of our demonstration eggs and what the embryos look like at that point. We hope that you will come back and enjoy our chicken hatching experience with us.